think I would start with looking a little back on, you know, thinking about what happened last year. You know, we all prepared quite well. And it seems that the decision, despite the fear we had that there will be um, a shortfall of compliant fuel, it seems to have gone remarkably smooth. We all had a fear that the enforcement should be uh, a tricky thing. But it turned out that the, uh, the flagship and the port set have taken a remarkable um, um, practical approach to this. Uh, on the other hand, you also need to have your house in order. There are scrubber failures, there are non-compliant fuel. Uh, so to deal with them, you, you need to be, uh, and, and to deal with them and to avoid operational challenges on your vessels, you need to be open and transparent with the ports and the flag states. That's the key to the thing. As a manager, we are not directly involved in the ordering of, of the bunker. We do notice that uh, ship owners and charterers are well aware of the requirement and are following them quite diligently, and that's a good start. Though we are involved in the process of making sure that the bunker that's coming aboard is fit for use. And hold that, that whole process requires an active involvement of all parties, being ship owners, the manager, the charter and the commercial part of it, the commercial operators. All the way from the planning of the bunkering, to the bunker itself, to the sampling, the testing and finally declare it fit for use. We're also very happy to see that MPA continued to be a market leader in making sure that the quality and the supply of fuel or bunker is at, the, is at the highest standard. We would like to see more ports following suit. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. If you kind of frame the fuel technology, what kind of abatement technology that's in there today, um, it's the obvious on using low sulfur fuels, uh, a portion of scrubbers in the fleet, as well as using methanol and LNG as fuel. Those are the basic technology. Of course, you, you, you using other options to reduce the fuel consumption, but that's another story. The world never stops, not even in times like present. I'm very happy to see that SIPCON has taken the opportunity to go digital. The agenda put together for the event reflect the challenges of the industry. And now it's up to us to make sure we follow. I'm looking forward to the event, to the interesting discussion and the insight therein. See you there.